What's up, guys? Uh, channel 182. Just wanted to give you guys a um, little review on um, this book. This is what you get in the uh, tin can, actually. When you are swearing down in next order, as you can see, it's, you know, it says you've taken the first step. Walk proud. It's a. It, it really gives you a good insight on the things that uh, you need to be aware of, and, and that are uh, the things that you need to be aware of and prepare for and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, like I said, once you swear in, you'll get this in a little tin can along with some stickers and some other like animal you know, uh, uh, you know, stuff. Um, I just want to talk to you a little, just give you a little quick little review. You know, it talks about say, leadership, the referral program. Oh yeah, that is something you're gonna like. All right, when we join in to the uh, enlisted Marine Corps, we also have something that's called a referral program. So. While you're in a referral program, if you want to increase your rank, you can participate in the referral program. The referral program. Um, you just have to re you have to refer um, two two individuals who want to enlist in the Marine Corps or reserve, and you'll get a re uh, you'll get a promotion of, uh, to private first class. So say you're private upon graduation in Paris uh, Island or San Diego. Um, you get those referrals and you will get promoted, which means you get higher move on, pay. Your pay grades could increase. You can private first class. And so, stuff like that. Um, you'll also get additional benefits, just stuff like that. But, like I said, you need to swear and you can read all about it. Um, also talk about the leadership. You get little leadership traits and, um, like, be technically and Tactically proficient. Know yourself and seek self improvement. Know your Marines and look out for self uh, or their welfare. Uh, keep your Marines informed. Set the example. You should attach the kind of supervise and accomplish. Train your Marines as a team. Make sound and common decisions. Develop a sense of responsibility in your subordinates. Um, employ your command and accordance with its commitment. Abilities, uh, take responsibility, ability for your options, your actions. Also, I want to talk about the, uh, um, just give you a quick review on the leadership traits. There's 14 leadership traits in the Marine Corps, and they're demonstrated throughout your daily activities while you're in the Marine Corps. Um, so far, I've demonstrated um, bearing, endurance, um, enthusiasm, initiative, integrity, uh, unselfishness, and I think courage. Yeah. So yeah, and loyalty. So I've been demonstrated like I think a seven or eight. So that's how many I've demonstrated so far. Um it's pretty easy. You know, there's fourteen you got bearing actually you got bearing courage decisiveness decisiveness uh, decisiveness and dependability, endurance, enthusiasm, initiative, integrity, justice, um, judgment. Knowledge, loyalty, tact, and self position. And what does it say? It says because it is important to always be able to remember the basic leadership traits. The acronym JJ did by buckle. That's easier to remember. JJ did by buckle. It's like literally JJ did by buckle. And it stands like each one of those letters is standing for one of these. So that's all you got to remember. So when somebody asks you, so if a higher officer, senior officer asks you, and you're in a line of duty walking by and he goes, hey, Young Marine, what are the uh, 14 leadership traits? Just remember, JJ and anti uh, Judgment, justice, dependability, initiative, um, uh, decisiveness, decisiveness, uh, decisiveness, um, tact, uh, uh, integrity, endur endurance, yeah, um, bearing, unselfishness. Courage, knowledge, loyalty, and uh, enthusiasm. I think I said that. Enthusiasm. And so that's basically all you have to remember is those 14 letters. Uh, also, it talks about the uh, rank structure. Uh, like I was talking about the other one in the report for them. You start out as a private, which means you have no insignia on your uh, on your uniform. Um, while you're a recruit, that's basically what you are for your recruit. 
So when your boot camp, you will be a recruit. You will not be FDA. You will either be have that promotion to a private or private first class. Meaning you will have that E1 or E2 pay. Which means you'll still be getting paid over, well over $1,200 at the most. And uh, get paid the first and 15th of each month. So say you just went to boot camp and you graduated like the 6th. You would have gotten paid on the first, and you would be getting paid the next week. So, and you're already getting paid in boot camp, so you're getting, you're gonna have some money. <laughs> um, so yes, you have your product first class. It's a Lance Corporal. Lance Corporal actually earns you the little, the under there. It's like a under stripe. It actually has a rifle, two rifles in between it. And once you earn the uh, rank of Lance Corporal, that's when you uh, get the uh, the rifle little patch under the uh, stripe. And you have a corporal that's the E4. Um, you still have you get two. You have an extra stripe, so that 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 gives you two stripes. Um, then you have sergeant. Sergeant gives you straight three stripes with the um rifle on it. Um, rifles. You have the staff sergeant. Staff sergeant actually is from an E6 up. I think I believe it is no from an E5 to an E6 and up is your non-commissioned officer. Basically, your senior officers. So if you're below a sergeant, you're a uh, um, you're a lower, a junior officer, basically, so they can tell you what to do, and you gotta be like, uh, I said, I I started, uh, yeah. I mean, you still do that in the line of duty with the other, um, Marines, but it's not so much as, uh, yes, sir, uh, it's kind of because they've earned their spot up there, they don't really need to, you know, because they've already know the deal, and sort of like that, so, um, then you have a uh, gunner charge, gunner charge that earns you the, uh, then I start getting earned to you um, two stripes at the bottom. So once you have those three stripes at the top, you actually get two stripes at the bottom. There's five total stripes up there. And you have a master sergeant. The master sergeant gives you three stripes at the top, three stripes at the bottom, which gives you six. And then so on. Actually, the last three ranks, which are all E9s, basically, if you earn an E9 or higher, you're getting some, you're going to get a lot of money. You're, you're very high. You're usually, like I said, you got a master gunner sergeant or a first sergeant. Uh, you have Sergeant Major, or you have a Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps. Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps is uh, actually the Commanding General of the Marine Corps, and he's probably somewhere in Carnival Division, where all the other higher Marines are. Um, I want to talk about relationships and stuff like that. Um, it is not, um, it's prohibited to have a spouse before you uh, enlist in the uh, Marine Corps, it's just, it's just a, it's just one of the rules. It's really hard to explain why, but like you just can't. Like they don't say you go in the battle one day, and um, I'm sorry, I will take it back. It's really hard to have a spouse who's also in the military while you're in the military because say you both you go in battle and you guys have children and stuff like that. You both you're all out on the battlefield. <laughs> Well, like, what's, you know what I'm saying? When they all die, or stuff like that, it's kind of like, or both of y'all die, and I'm like, dang, the kids are kind of all alone, so that's kind of why that's prohibited. It. It's, it's really complicated. You just have to look at this book, it'll tell you. Um, also, they have the general orders. I feel like reading it right now, it's, it's a little crap. It's just long stuff. Um, uh, yeah, so that's basically about it. Um, oh, and what you should during the boot camp. See, I have 59 more days left until I ship off into Paris Island, South Carolina. You must have your social, social security card, your recruit, recruit your business card, um, a minimum of clothing, basically what you're wearing. You don't need to wear it. Don't bring anything up. Wear what you are wearing. Just don't you know that right now. Eyeglasses or eye contacts, if you have any. Religious materials or metals, you have those. Prescription medication um, and a federal prescription for your doctor. Um, $20 in cash or less, they'll give you a debit card that you can actually spend at the Marine Exchange. It's some, I guess, and females should remove meal card. Um, females, they may bring three pairs of skin, uh, tone pantyhose. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, uh, one white or beige bra. Six white athletic bras that provide good support and comfort. I don't know how that feels because, like, you know, so for females out there, um, portable blow dryer, um, curling iron, or hot comb, required items for hair maintenance, stuff like that. Um, yeah, you should agree. Now, this is what you should really pay attention to. 
No cell phones. Or portable music players. No iPhones, no iPads, no iPods, no iPod touches, no none of that. MP3, nothing. Lethal or basically dangerous weapons, anything like that, anything that's freaking gonna kill somebody, you don't need to bring these. Um, alcohol and drink, drink, uh, beverages, don't bring those. Um, or drugs. Um, gambling devices, pornography of any type, so like, don't be playing magazines or fucking videos and shit like that, because they're gonna fucking confiscate it, and they're gonna destroy that shit. That's exactly what they say. Um, food products, tobacco, or, um, chewing gum. Um, non-prescription medic medicine, including aspirin, ointments, uh, laxatives, vitamins and related, uh, medicines, uh, let's see, yeah, and so on, just, like, basic shit, don't be stupid, don't bring stuff like that, what else is in here, uh, Talks about your training day, your inspections. So like there'll be daily inspections uh, in the personnel living area. So while you guys are out there training, while well, we're out there training, and maybe hopefully um, there'll be an obvious inspection. Like maybe there'll be higher officers or people like that visiting and stuff. So your rooms must be made. That's why you're gonna. That's why they said. I think you said that's why they're gonna learn the. Uh, we're gonna learn how to keep our racks clean and stuff like that. I'll just keep training. Um, we also start training early in the morning. That's what it talks about. It's very challenging. That's what it says. A classroom, we all, in the classroom, it will be learning about um, learning corpse history and tradition, uniform regulations, military justice, M16 rifle, or service rifle, and uh, more. Close order drill is basically um, uh, we'll participate in this and it'll help us develop uh, self discipline and opinion. Um, then you have your academic evaluation, and basically, these uh, these are very important to our overall performance rating. And the meals, so, uh, so the meals, so we get uh, three three good meals a day. Um, we have to maintain weight, so like I said, it's only if you want to actually eat all that crap. Um, That's about it. Um, yeah. Boot camp. I know I'm just a pony, but I, I can tell from the uh, videos and from the experience, or from the uh, experience of the other guys who've actually graduated, it's not hard. If you can, if you keep yourself in good enough shape, you can get through it. Just don't do stupid things. Always be loud. Um, like he, he freaking calls you out. Yes. Sir. Be loud as you can, quick. So that's what the speed is for. Speed, intensity, and volume. Those three things. If you can get those three things down, speed, intensity, and volume, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll get through. Okay. So, so that's basically what this book gives you. It gives you a, a perspective on it. Talks about that stuff. Um, questions, concerns, anything like that. Message me. Put them in the comments. Anything like that. And um. The SPs are on. <laughs> I'm watching Sports Center right now. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, if you have any questions, anything like that, boot camp is gonna be, or I don't know yet, but like stuff like that, just kind of mess with me. Um, and if I don't get to your questions on time, I will eventually. But uh, so I got for today, folks. I'm from the channel 182. I am out.